Hey, brother, Hulk Hogan here. You want to start a podcast? Podcast, podcast. Well, I'm here to tell you that you can start one for free. All you have to do is download the free Anchor app. That's right, I said it free. Or go to anchor.fm and you can start your venture to be like me today, brother. Thanks for being supportive and thanks for being fucking Alex. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Fade in. The sun is bright. Weather. Warm. Atmosphere of plenty. (laughs) An airplane is flying in the distance. (laughs) Out of seemingly nowhere, a tsunami appears and swallows the airplane whole. A winged chimera passes by, paying no mind to the wall of water. Suddenly, everything goes silent. Then, the chimera squeals. It's terrified of frogs, much like a snow (laughs) leopard is of a hot summer's evening. The Pangea had split. Oh, shit. Now, sometime later, walking away from Del Taco or someplace with a Del Taco likeness without copywriting Del Taco. And scene. Okay. uh, This is what I... Okay. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so tired of living with my parents. My stepdad doesn't do anything except for play foosball and my mom is addicted to collecting etched sketches <laughs> oh my god there's a spot right around the corner from your house you could rent it's only 50 a month 50 dollars so what you're saying is it's just a bathroom how is anything that cheap it's actually abandoned clubhouse Nambla, you see, <laughs> used to meet there before cocktail gang wiped them out, wiped them all out. The cocktail gang? Yeah, like Molotov. <laughs> You've heard of them? <laughs> the ones that overthrew Joseph Stalin on the night of the thousand bottles? Oh, yeah, that's right. If you want, I can go by after CrossFit and see if the place is still available. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Wow, you're a real friend, Moncler. So here's fifty dollars. Helga gives Moncler fifty dollars, and Moncler leaves to go <laughs> talk to Helga the owner said. of the property, Struce. As Helga and Moncler leave, a little weave pokes out of the bushes for the audience to see for the first time. Now we are at the auto repair shop. <laughs> Ciao, come to us, Truce. Translation. How are you? Who's Struz? Oh, I'll be Struz. He's Struz. Ebako! Translation. Drunk. Struz falls over in a drunken embrace. Okay, well, I guess I'll just take the keys. One Claire places $50 on top of Struz's body and leaves with the keys to Hilga's new house. I'll be old man, too. Hey! <laughs> you! Uh, hey, what's up, dude? I'll go to that house! There is a presence which watches over it. Are you fucking with me, dude? Speak up, whippersnapper! Look, dude. <laughs> I've, showed my <laughs> I've showed my tits on <laughs> to dudes on Omega older than you. So I really feel like wasting... Feel, so I really feel like wasting time and, and energy right now. Montclair starts to walk away. I hope the weave takes over your friend's mind and kills you first. Montclair turns back around. Sorry, what? When Montclair looks back to confront the old man, he's nowhere to be found. The obedience, my little deviant. Together we will find the right ingredients. We will stir the food that is the horror soup. And the last thing you will find is the spaghetti hoop. There's eyes and flies and anything that dies. There's a nasty surprise in every food.
I guess. So, um, and scene. <laughs> welcome to uh, Horse Soup. We have uh, Sean here. We have Bree here. Sean Hello. should be introduced first because he is, as we all know, an uh, OG Horse Soup veteran. He's been here since oh, the beginning. Gee. He's uh, he helped build the show. He I helped build. Coined the name. I gave everybody the idea. Yes. He even coined the name. Guys. He yes. actually did all of it, mm-hmm. and that's a pretty great mm-hmm. thing that he did. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. proud of you. I Sean. actually adopted and raised both Bree and Caleb. Oh that, wow! That's that's what happened. I wasn't aware, but yes. one time yes. I saw a bowl of soup on the side of the road. Didn't have a home. Orphan. You know what he did? Adopted it. Dude, you are the mother of all soups. That's what I do. He raised it as his own. That's what the I do. The soups, dude. Dude, he's a great person. I'm, I'm about I, soups, I can't believe you're in. I'm so proud of you. No. I mean, it's well, great. Well, so yeah. proud of him. So thanks for coming, guys. No. Thank you, guys. I, I, it's very late. I don't want to be here. It's <laughs> quite late. It is quite late. I'm we, very tired. Yes. Yeah, well, we're here We've, to talk about broken, uh, broken clubs from Lizard's Dread. Yes. Uh, broken dragons from. Sean's sublease house. Yes. Okay. That's it. That's what I was. That's what I was getting I at think right now. It's token li- token wizards or something. Token wizards. Oh, Woken to- mizards. Swollen gizzards. Oh, that's a good one. Um, are these band names? Choking blizzards. Do you guys want to start a band with me? Hell yeah! Choking uh, blizzards. I have no musical talent whatsoever. Perfect. What can you play? Absolutely nothing. What else? I can sing a little bit, but not good. You want to sing we'll right just, now? I can sing right now. Sing us an Let's intro. Um, you gotta give me a song. I don't. I don't have any uh, um, I will give original it. material. Okay, hold on, hold on. You do the beat. Or is it chowder, ladies and gentlemen? Bow, bow, double time. Bow, 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 I, I, I won't even say. listen to this in the slightest. Do I never think, want to hear this again. Do you think someone in like some third world country is using our likeness of this song to like make a hit? Oh, beat? that's that's very well possible. Like but a real hit pop song. If if that's true, featuring Drake. I'm so mad. You think Drake would get on that? I'm pretty well, sure. Weird, I can call him up right now. I got him on speed dial. Yeah. Weirder things that have happened. So it's like, how many weird things do you know? Lots. He's a weird guy. Lots. <laughs> okay, so we should probably talk about this movie, right? <laughs> probably. Should we get into this? So we watched Broken Lizards Club Dread. And here's the thing about this. I had to ask... Okay, so this is Kim's pick. I had to ask her what the name of this movie was like 17 times because I was like, what? it's a lot. If she just said like Club Dread or something, I yeah, probably yeah. would have still found it. That's all you need to say. We're saying Broken Lizards before isn't, isn't unnecessary. Yeah, the whole lizards thing, I was like, I had so much else in my mind. And I thought this was going to be a giant lizard movie. So I will say that in that in that light, I was sorely mistaken. It should have been like Broken Lizard Presents Club Dread or something like that. That's what I assumed. After I like heard it enough, I was like, yeah. okay, the fact that there was an S in it, I was like, okay, so it's from Broken Lizards. Yeah. But why is this okay. in the title in some places? I remember I was talking to Caleb Hi, Bri. about coming here and doing this uh, this movie about dead lizards. So what are we doing? And he told me the title of this movie, and I uh, blacked out immediately. I have I don't yeah. I did not remember anything. She, she didn't recall. And so I was telling uh, Miguel about this, and I was like, he asked me. He was like, um, "What movie are you guys doing?" And I was like, "Uh." Something about lizards? <laughs> exactly what I said. And he was like, oh, so you haven't watched it? I was like, no. And he was like, okay. And then I literally, I sat down on the couch to watch this movie and I was like, what is this movie called? <laughs> like, <laughs> I didn't remember anything. Like, yeah. I've never even heard of this shit ever. Bri, if you go through my texts, like, with Kim over the past, like, month, like, since she, uh, 
I have asked her what the title was at least nine different times because I was like, uh, you want to run that by me again? Something about a lizard? <laughs> that, that's the problem is I'm lizards are in there because they somewhere. didn't do that with any of the other movies really. Kind of hidden in the like the like presents kind of thing or whatever. Yeah, I feel like it probably mm. wasn't marketed too well because actually I didn't. Okay, so I told Sean what this was and he knew what it was immediately. He was like, mm. "Oh, sweet, I've seen this a bunch of times." And just based off the title, I just like I didn't know what it was, but I assumed Sean had seen it. Yeah, I just it was just a feeling I had. And then when he said he saw it, I was like, "Of course you have. Yeah, of course, you fucking I've seen old a lot ass." Of movies. I've seen a lot of movies. <laughs> so <laughs> then we show up to this old man's house. And then he tells me, he's like, oh, it's from the same people as Super Troopers. I'm like, oh, shit. And then he goes to, like, you know, the other l movies like it. And I see Beer Fest on there. And I'm like, oh, so I've seen every movie that they've done except for this. And then when we started, I thought I might have seen it or seen, like, parts of it. But no, not whatsoever. I've never seen any bit of this movie. I have mm. never even heard of this movie. I didn't know they did horror comedies whatsoever. I've I seen, didn't know that I've either. seen Super Troopers. I've seen Beer Fest. And I've seen... They have a couple other. They have the Slammin' Salmon. I've never seen that one, but Sean, get louder. They have one called yeah, the Slammin' Salmon or something good. like that, but I've never seen that one. That's what I wanted to watch yeah. because I I was wondering if Kim would be mad if we just abandoned her movie choice completely this was good, though. and then watch something about salmon. Yeah. Honestly, this was a solid movie. Yeah, it's funny. This shit was, was hilarious, bad. dude. Yeah. Kim was very happy well that you guys were on this. She was like top tier, not top tier group. Good thank stuff, you, guys. Kim. Yes, yes. Thank, thank, you, you, thank you, thank you. How do you pronounce Jay's last name? Chandris Car. Uh, Chandran C Car. Chandis Race Car. Chandran C Car. Can Can Candice Race, race, race Car. Yeah. Candy's nuts fit in your mouth. Race Candace Car. Candice Race Car fit in your mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can this entire motor vehicle fit in? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Got you there. Jade, you're good. Chandran I'm so good. M Night Shyamalan. Who? Huh? Cares. Huh? Produced by M. Night Shyamalan. Dude, earlier I was... Starring Mel Gibson. Dude, earlier I was with my friend and she was telling me a story. <laughs> she said, found myself in a real pickle. <laughs> a real pickle. Did you call her a Piccadilly bitch? A real pick dickleman. <laughs> pick dickleman. Been in one of those before. I love pickles. Gotta love them. What the fuck are we doing? All right, so yeah, I've seen other movies about this. I didn't know this existed. Let's mm. talk about Broken Lizards. This was from 2004, <coughs> again, directed by uh, Jay Chase's race cars in his mouth. Um, really good guy. In this, he plays a kind of half-British um, Jamaican, I'd say. Kind of just like... That's racist. All right, well... Not Jamaican. I'm, I'm going to pull the racist No, I think card. he's just like British. But what was that? Uh, it wasn't a British accent. Like, what was mixed with that? It almost sounded like he was trying to like it sometimes like he's, put a Jamaican he's going for like, like it. I'm a posh like tennis player. It, it was <laughs> just <laughs> no, no, no. Let me tell you what it is. It was a very, very bad, purposely bad, purposely bad mm. British accent. Yeah, but it's meant to. But like, not even British. Like it was mixed with Jamaican and Irish and mm. Scott. It was just a very bad accent altogether. So it was Jamaican. A little bit, yeah, sure, if you want to call it that. Nah, I don't hear any Jamaican in that. What would you describe it as? I would say what you yeah. said in the beginning. It's like a poorly done British accent, like overly done, and like, you know what I mean? Like, for me, I look at it as like, he's like, he's the tennis instructor. They needed to make him like, kind of like, I don't know, like, uppity and lame. Proper in a way, yeah. yeah. About that, I didn't know he was a tennis instructor until he was flinging tennis balls at well, a killer. Well, because you weren't watching in the beginning of the movie. Yeah, you were not paying attention. They showed that clearly. I, I, I can honestly say... And there's a montage that shows it too. No, everybody shut up. I can honestly say I do not know how you have any type of notes on this movie whatsoever. <laughs> because you did not pay attention for shit. Where are your notes? I don't have it. They're all mental. As are mine. What? With written. But you weren't paying attention. How do you have mental notes? Because I watched things. I took down all the kills. How did I not pay attention? We didn't know you that. weren't paying attention in the specific parts because you didn't know there were our scenes dude, that clearly showed our that. dude was a tennis instructor and then there was the party police and then there was the Pilates instructor and then there was the massage therapist and yeah, a bunch of jobs. other shit. Those are all just occupations. That's exactly what they're... Yeah, that's but they were very his occupation important. On there. I don't need the, the occupations. That's not what I worry about. Well, no, you're just diverting attention from what we're talking about right now. I'm worried yeah, that's about... that's exactly what yeah. he was doing. I'm worried about... He's still doing it. The fact that his name is Jay Racecar. Jay Chandon Seacar. 
Averting attention. Yeah. Diverting. I mean. This Look, movie was literally called, we... hey, the guy with dreads is a tennis instructor, and you didn't get it. I don't understand. Can he we say understand. that we all paid very close attention to this? Is this something you can say? Absolutely not, but I know uh, I can. for a fact. <laughs> You've seen this like 10 okay, times. but I, I just... paid attention when I watched it the first time. Not on, <laughs> on this on this viewing, on this specific viewing. Yeah, yes. I uh, may say I paid more attention I, than you did. You it took what? us three hours to watch. This. I will say that's not my fault. I will say <clears throat> that I was the one getting up and rewinding it and saying, "Hey, you guys need to watch this part." But True. did I also tell you to get Thank up and you. rewind it a few times? <clears throat> no. Yes, I did. <laughs> Why am I always being attacked like this? Because you're wrong. He, okay, to be fair, he did do it. It was the last time where, he, where like, you went to go. Uh, sorry, he said, no, rewind it a little bit. That's uh, that's the only other time. Yeah, because he well, wasn't so paying was, attention. Yeah. No, that was would, near the end okay, of the movie. Okay, you cannot put this all on me. There was one point where we were all just talking I, for 20 minutes I, straight. No, no, and no, no, I was no. like, all right. Who, 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 I literally who, said, hey, <clears throat> get a, I said, pause this. We're not paying attention. Rewind this by, like, 20 minutes. Out of fairness, we all did take place in the, in the talking. Um, I'm not going to say but, I paid a 100% attention because I didn't, but I did get up three to four times to rewind and say, hey, you guys need to you, watch this. You were saying just because you stood that you were the winner? I'm not saying I'm the winner. Who told you to stand? You were told to stand. I did it myself because I wanted you guys you to watch the movie. You were forced to stand. Nobody forced me to stand at all. You subleased this house. I do. I own a, a piece of this <laughs> house. He's doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you saw it this time, right? Either way, <laughs> it's like, you not knowing it's like no one else sees witness, it. right? <laughs> Wait a minute, guys. <laughs> Hold on. You not knowing that this guy was a tennis instructor, dude. Fuck his occupation. Literally, I don't get... until literally the end of the movie is absurd to mm. me because there was many scenes of yeah. him being an overly corny, overly acted tennis instructor. I hear people. I don't listen to them. So, that's not what you're supposed to do. That's not what you're supposed Wait, to do. Wait, I hear so. people. I don't listen. To <laughs> I thought that was. I hear their murmurs, but I did. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> listening is not really my bag. I thought, I thought you like show people that you're interested, but you're not actually interested. That's a terrible thing to do. <laughs> no, is that not what you guys do? That's the exact opposite way. That's do. exact yeah. opposite of what I do. I listen. Yeah. No, like to to be a good part of a conversation, you have to not pay attention to what someone says whatsoever, and then say. Uh huh. No wonder our conversations end. go the way they do. They're very one ended. <laughs> one sided, one ended. There's not. Well, they end on my side. They don't end for mm. you. Most of the time, I'll keep talking, but then I'll realize I'm like, oh, okay, and then I'll just shut up. I've actually never paid attention to any conversation I've ever been in. Ever? What about now? <laughs> Who? That got real meta. Well, I torched this baby. How about you lick my chest? <laughs> the uh, biggest douche in the movie. What about my nipples? Oh, he sucks. He's only he was only in the movie for like three minutes, and he sucked so bad. Yeah. Well, the beginning of this is just college He's frat like, douche gets three way, gets destroyed. Yeah. While getting head. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that must have sucked. But honestly, if you're gonna die, good. For I it. guess, but I mean, yeah. you're gonna die while not like at that uh, point yet. That would kind of suck, right? Yeah, because they were just licking his chest, and I think one of them was going down on him. One of them was going down on him, but there was no way he was already, like, climaxing. You know no, what I'm no, saying? No way, like, yeah. he was already, like... Yeah, it was, it was I mean, just, yeah, he was getting his, his, uh, his, his, uh, yeah. Rumpelstiltskin dog. But, right? but it wasn't... But, uh... Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't the, 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 the finish he was looking for. It wasn't the finishing move. No. And why were they also in Indiana Jones Temple in the very beginning? Yeah. Because they can. They can. They're going through a lot of workarounds. They got just that to, kind of budget. Was he doing all of that just to get some head? Indiana Jones? Pretty much, yeah. It looked like he was like removing like the stone tablet just to get some slop. I don't know why he because he opened that thing, but but like they I don't were, even know where they were. Where were they? They were out in the jungle, but there was like a little, like, little <laughs> graveyard. And then like they're like, well, at least let's go in that old mausoleum. And then they went and did what they, they did, did in there. That was a quote. Yeah. That was a quote. She was yeah, like, the girl said that, yeah. Because, like, the two girls met up, and they were like, uh, well, I'd want to be caught out in the forest. And so she was like, well, uh, let's just at least go into that mausoleum over there. Yeah. And that's when I said, that's if I does. didn't have respect for the dead, I would be totally down. Oh, that <laughs> did bring up a conversation. Like, I mean, well, I mean, they're hmm. dead. Why not? 
go in there and pay respect to the mausoleum. By by having a three way. By having a three way. Honestly, don't you think like if if you were alive, you would want someone to have I'm, a three way on your grave? I'd be fine with that, but but like like I don't think like like let's say my mom wouldn't be cool with that. But some moms might be. Is some what moms you're saying. might be true. That's very true. Some but, mom, but, some, oh, I cannot talk. Some <laughs> moms might be cool with that, but I have respect for the dead, man. Yeah. You got to respect the dead. Wouldn't wouldn't be my move. It's, uh, I mean, if you want to go and do that, go ahead and get yeah, killed no, by a giant tiki yeah. monster thingy. Then no, go was, ahead. But I was gonna say, hear me out. You get consent first. You contact the dead. Yeah, you gotta Ouija conjure board. up that thing. Or you find their will. See if there's a clause yeah. in there about like. Three ways on the grave. There's you get, always you a get, clause. They're gonna cancel you from beyond the grave because you're pressuring them into. To, I'm not pressuring anyone. I'm you're, asking. You're pressuring the dead into to having a three way on, on top of them. I'm just looking for a clause. That's what I'm saying, though. <laughs> like, there's always a clause. There's man. always a clause. Oh, it's, there's a Santa Claus. Okay, well, not much happens at the beginning. Pretty much that guy dies. There's a whole, like, secret ecstasy thing going on, and the beginning is filled with, like, a lot of slow-mo uh, zoom-ins and dramatic music, which kind of signifies that there will be a killer. There will be a killer. There will be a killer. And this is when I realized, I was like, okay, they're doing this on purpose. They're zooming in on everybody and putting intense music because they want it to be, like, a fun mystery killer yeah. type of movie. And I was like, okay, this is, like, fucking cool. The first scene of the movie, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this. And then it got fun. It's kind of like that mystery game with Dijon Mustard. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'll, uh, I'll take it. He's talking about Colonel Mustard. That guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Dijon. You just, you just literally Hines just named 57? him Mustard. <laughs> Why? That's a person. <laughs> no, Dijon Mustard. That's a type Dijon? of mustard. Uh, it sounds like a name to me. No, it's the it's name of a mustard. Like Sean, Dijon. <laughs> Sean, I'm going to let you know right now. Mustard. He knows exactly what he's doing. I know what he's doing. No, just, Dijon Mustard. That's D a man. I'm going to name my son Dijon. Dijon, middle name Mustard. Ooh. Last name Mondragon. Ooh. Dijon Mustard Mondragon. Ooh. He will be unstoppable. I'm not stopping till I have a son. I don't give a shit if I oh, have yeah. seven daughters. And an eighth son. I would yeah. actually it's love happening. to see you on a reality show with eight children. <laughs> yeah, it could, it could, it could happen. I'll be fairly large, but it'll happen. Bree's large family. <laughs> 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 All right, let's talk about Jimmy Buffett. I don't know who that Coconut is. Coconut Pete. You know who Buffett is? Cheeseburger mm -hmm. in paradise. No. Take me away again, to Margaritaville. <laughs> Oh, Margaritaville. I've been to Margaritaville already. Right. You guys ever been to a Chili's? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I've been to a Chili's. I've been to Margaritaville already. Right. You got it. But cheese. yeah, Jimmy Buffett, that's about all I know about him. Yeah, the same. Burger in Hawaii. That's why not is it not why is it not oh. pronounced buffet? <laughs> well, you know, some people just like to put a little twist on it. It's like a like spice Joe, melange. Like Joe Deer It's, it's, it's kind of like cilantro. It is a French word though, I think. Cilantro? No, but uh, buffet is for sure. It's got to be. There's a yeah. T there that doesn't need to be there. Is that's buffet. not how French people work. <laughs> it's more like that's buffet, not how though. French people work. I'm pretty sure it's that's a buffet. Not a buffet with my croissant. Uh -huh. This is not. You can't do that. <laughs> yes, you can. Are you racist? French yes. French people do not care. Hey, man. You know what? I am. I. I have a good amount of French in me. Mm. You're French, and they pushed Probably, out yeah. on us in the war, guys. They pussed out on us. Dude, you know what? If you're French... <laughs> I highly doubt Wait. any French people listen yeah. to if you, No, I'm talking to you. I'm talking directly to you. Oh, three. okay. All right. Yeah. Cool. If you're Maybe French... French Canadian. And you got French in you, I want to remove some of your blood and I want to put it in a little tin. And if I get like a hot paper clip and if your blood jumps and a croissant pops out, you're French. You're doing the thing test on them? The croissant test. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice. From Francois? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. What I'm trying to say is Jimmy Buffett is a part of this movie. He is. Kind of. He's really mad that he's not Jimmy Buffett, I guess. You're talking or about the, Coconut Pete. Or that other people it's want Coconut him to be Pete. Jimmy Buffett? His name is Coconut Pete. <laughs> yeah, he's a song called Pina Colada Berg. Not, not a, his real name. <laughs> his real name is Bill Paxton in real life. His real name Dude, Bill is... Bill Paxton's fucking awesome. His, his real rest name. Rest in peace. Oh, fuck. His... <laughs> We're getting there. His, <laughs> almost. Almost. His real name is James Buffet. <laughs> James Buffet. <laughs> <laughs> You're still on the Buffet? 
<laughs> Why is it pronounced like that? I'm pissed. Take me away again the to the hometown buffet. <laughs> <laughs> cheeseburger Get another and plate of fried chicken. Cheeseburger and hometown buffet. <laughs> and it ain't nice. <laughs> That's James not a song. Buffet. That's a song. That's not a song. That's Cheeseburger in Paradise by Jimmy Buffett. I love a good cheeseburger. I don't know if that's a song. Cheeseburger I'm, in Paradise. I'm going to choose not to believe you, though. Cheeseburger in Paradise yeah. by Jimmy Buffett? Are you kidding me? It's possible, <laughs> but but I I, I don't want to believe you. If this like, is a real song, I'm, I'm going to off. leave immediately. Yeah, I'm moving out. Look at the top. God <laughs> damn it. Sad. I'm not lying. I've never been so disappointed. Yeah, see, you guys just think that I'm all fun and games. <laughs> I know stuff too, all right? I know about cheeseburgers when they're in paradise. You think I wouldn't know about that song? Come on. You know, I, I, now I'm looking at it, I shouldn't have been surprised. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's Jimmy Puffin. Yeah. What? Of course he has that. Some people know. Man, a <laughs> play that? I really wish we could, but we can't. But I'm, so, I'm gonna listen to that on my way home. I'm gonna have a cheese. How does it go, Caleb? How does it go? Cheeseburger it in paradise. <laughs> it's fucking awesome, dude. It's one of the best songs I've ever heard in my life. Uh, <laughs> like he's so happy and ecstatic about his cheeseburger, dude. We could probably listen to a cover of it. <laughs> we probably could. Yeah. Without, without getting flagged. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. All right, fine. You guys start talking for a second. Let me see if I can find a cover that we could play real just quick. Just go on YouTube. Just put okay. that song I have covered. nothing to say other Guarantee than I'm fucking one. crying and in pain from my heart. I'm loving. Cheeseburger in paradise. Is that that? could not be real. That sounds like such a made up song. Like, it's it's 100% made up. This is. I think he paid people at Spotify to put that This on is there. rigged. For sure, this is rigged. <laughs> Heaven on earth with an onion slice. <laughs> Heaven on earth with an onion yeah, slice. Heaven on earth with an onion slice. Yeah, you guys thought I was bullshitting. Cheeseburger in paradise. paradise. Dude, I'm Heaven laughing so fucking earth. hard because literally the whole time we've been talking about <laughs> James Buffet. <laughs> You've been singing cheeseburger. I thought I, I could swear you're I, fucking making that up. I had no idea what the fuck oh you were talking God. about. That and is... as it comes to light, it's a real fucking song. Cheeseburger in, in paradise. paradise. Heaven on earth with an onion slice. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, it's the greatest song I've ever heard in my life. I cannot believe that is real. So, oh you guys want to know how I found out that was real? How? South Park. It's an informational Fair show. But there was, it is. Well, they were singing, quite informative. They were singing quite. it and like it, they were making fun of Jimmy Buffett. And then I was like, okay, so I've heard Jimmy Buffett. This actually sounds like this could be one of his songs. So I looked it up. I was like, there's no way it is. Like it has to be a parody of something. And then I find Cheeseburger in Paradise. I was song? like, this is the actual song. Like this, the melody and everything. Like this isn't a lie. It's, this it's is. Like, Yes. It's like the man just like wrote wrote about whatever he was thinking about at the time. Dude, I like, literally think that he was on a vacation and mm. he was like, this is paradise. And he was eating a cheeseburger and he was like, next hit single. Yeah. He just, he just got done with a margarita. And this, oh my God. The Ville was over. Yeah. It was time to live it up in paradise with a nice slice of cheese and a thick onion. Wow. What kind of bun do you think he had? Oh, brioche for sure. Definitely I think sesame. onion bun. Yeah. Onion bun with a nice onion slice. A nice potato mm. bun. Heavenly. A nice potato bun. Mm. A potato onion mm. bun. Could be. What about Jalapeno. sourdough? Jalapeno onion bun. I, like I, I don't think it was that good. I don't think he's a man of class. Dude, but it was a paradise cheeseburger. Mm. I still don't think he's a man of class. You don't think Buffett has class? Buffet? Um, I don't think James Buffet has class. We gotta, we gotta, I never heard the man speak before. What was the plot 20 minutes in? Did you know? Um, <laughs> 20 minutes in? I can't put a timestamp on that. But uh, some people had started dying and nobody knew yet. And they're all just going about their days. And then all of a sudden some dude crashes into this like shake shack type of thing on a parasail. And Holy shit, dude. 
Yeah. That was the they funniest thing like I've seen all year. four or five times. Don't like, tread over that. No, no. It's not that they showed that four, time, oh, four or five times. They showed that twice. We saw it four or five oh, times. You're right. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. You're right. We, <laughs> kept, we kept rewinding right before it, but then every time I played, we were like, <laughs> it's, <laughs> better, it's still it funny. It's better every time. It's still yeah. funny. Because this guy's parasailing, and like, you know, two other people are having like a conversation. It's um Brandy from Joe Dirt, and then it's Land. The only, I know he's in like all of the things, but he's Landfill from Beer Fest to mm. me forever. Or yeah. Landfill 2, whichever one you want to go with. I call him Farva. Farva? He's, he's Farva to me because that's how I was introduced yeah. to him. Yeah, I was yeah. introduced up to Beer Fest like really early on. That was definitely the first of their movies that I saw. Yeah. Like I saw that when I was like fucking young, like right when it came out pretty mm-hmm. much. Yeah. What year was Beer Fest actually? Was that like... 2006, 7, 8 maybe? Oh, it was? Something like that. I thought it was yeah. a little earlier. I want to say 2006. Because it came out after this. I think, um, Bre- I think Bree's right. I'm going to say 2006 yeah. too. Let's see. Yep. 2006. 2006? Yeah. Yep. So yeah, 2006. I think I saw it in 2006. Nice. Like literally like right when it came out and it became like just a movie that was on all the time after that. And I fell in love with it. Yeah. When the grandma started talking about like her, her whore days, <laughs> I was like, I'm in, dude. Like this grandma's <laughs> Let spicy. Let me warm up some sausages for you. Your grandma was a whore, dude. <laughs> I do not remember Beer Fest at all. I'm no, I know it's I've good. seen the movie and I, I remember liking it, but... Super Troopers was definitely Super Troopers is fucking so definitely. Good. I mean, I on knew one of those movies that was just played constantly in my yeah. house. I knew I was in that movie like because I was like an edgy high schooler when I first saw it, and like they ate all the shrooms in the car, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" I was they're on a level. In elementary school when I first, saw I didn't that see movie. it that young. I saw Beer like Fast many 2001 times. Two thousand one or something like that. Yeah, no, yeah. I was in elementary school because. My fucking older brother was a huge stoner back in the yeah. day, so all the like stoner fucking funny movies, like he was watching them constantly. So I was around for Beer Fest and Harold and Kumar and all that shit. So see, I was around for like a lot of those, but like there was just certain like subgenres like in there, and that's not a sub. That's probably the biggest part of that genre. Mm-hmm. But I just wasn't introduced to the cooler parts. I felt like it was just like I feel like my parents were like they were sub cool. <laughs> they were like they were like a part of cool. Like they were like getting there they were like oh yeah we like these things but it was like everyone was onto the cooler stuff and they were just like getting there see my mm. brother was my parent so <laughs> whatever he watched i watched <laughs> my brother Which got wasn't me on so to, good uh, all the time <laughs> my brother got me on to afro samurai and Ooh. uh getting drunk and standing up and peeing on a couch oh nice, nice. i never yeah. did that but i did know of him doing that and you know i thought it was something i should live up to one day not my couch. I swear to God. You sublease the couch. It's a leather couch. couch. You know I, what? He's still. Yeah, but you sublease it. Sean, it's a leather couch. Not, It'll just trickle. Right I'm off. putting my foot down. But it's this. a rental couch. Can I pee on your couch? N- it's no, a rental couch, though. Nobody's peeing on my couch. Well, like, they get it. Please pee you, on they, your couch. You don't even I'll tell have... you what. If you guys bring your own plastic, you can pee on my couch. Okay, but you okay. only have it for the next three months anyway, so I That's mean. That's not true. You know what I think about all the time? Long-term furniture rentals. It's literally always on my mind. I'm like, why do people get long-term furniture rentals? You know what? I I think about it all the time. Long-term furniture rentals. Why do you do it for so long? I have (laughs) peed in multiple people's sinks. Sinks? Yes. Did you ever shit in Uh, a dishwasher? Why, though? No, I never have shit in a dishwasher. I know someone. Is it because, like, 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 another girl's using the toilet or something like that? No, it's not that at all. Either one, because it was funny, or two... (laughs) (laughs) Or two, hear me out. Or two because I didn't like that person. <laughs> Is it funny or I'm just gonna piss at thing, dude. <laughs> and I, re- I just, you know what started it? It was the trailer for the movie Baby Mama with Tina Fey oh, and okay. fucking uh, she's like uh, Leslie Nope. I can't think of her actual name. Um, 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 shit, shit. Right when you said Leslie Nope, I lost it. Tina Fey, uh, Amy, uh, Amy, Sh- a- no, no. Amy Poehler. Poehler, yeah, 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 yeah Amy Poehler, yeah, yeah, Poehler. Yeah, yeah. Amy Poehler. Okay, okay, yeah. I saw the trailer for that and I was like. I've never seen that movie, but I was like, that is fucking Wait, hilarious. Wait, dude, that's another movie that mm. I've seen so many. I've seen Baby Mama, not like in the 20s, like other things that I've seen a ridiculous amount of times, but I've seen Baby Mama at least seven to ten times. Dude, I have never <laughs> seen that movie, but the preview of when Tina Fey is like pissing in the sink, and I was like, that is pure gold comedy right there. Yeah. I'd say I'm going to piss in everybody's sink. Amy Poehler, though, pissed in the sink, right? Was it Amy Poehler or Tina Fey? She's the I feel like that was Amy Poehler. She's the one who's like, it uh, been, who's yeah. trying to be the baby mom. It, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think you're right. I think you're right there. <clears throat> and she's yeah. very off the rails. But yeah. She's very funny. Yeah. Dude, I fucking love Amy Poehler. Have mm-hmm. you seen Baby Mama, Sean? Yes. Mm-hmm. 
I'd say it's like it's not top tier, but it's like, it's like a tier, three. I, I, I yeah, it's fun. I it's think, fun. I think it's one of those things where like the previews make it funnier than it actually. Oh, one hundred percent. I've never mm. seen the movie. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not like 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 super. Hilarious. It's not like knocked up or like forgetting Sarah Marshall yeah. or like. Oh my god, forgetting Sarah Marshall is my so one good. of my favorite comedy movies of all time, dude. Such a good movie. You know what's funny too? That's you kind look of like, like you're from London. Yeah, or you I'm sound like you're from London. Sarah from London. <laughs> what's that? Uh, the tour movie that Russell Brand is in with Jonah Hill. Uh, um, get him to the Greek. Get him, get him yeah. to the Greek. Mm. That movie is kind of like a guilty pleasure to me. Like it's kind of stupid, but I also really love it. It's stupid because it, it's uh, fucking hilarious. Grab yeah. the furry or it's hilarious. Wall. Yep. Yeah. Dude, Miguel loves that fucking movie. Was mm. it when life gets you? When life gets you down. Rub a furry wall. <laughs> Rub a furry, furry wall. wall. <laughs> That shit's so funny. They're fucked off on like 10 different drugs. It's like, dude, this wall. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's a fuzzy wall, right? What, what was the drug called? Like the concoction <laughs> called? It was like a, a something like Johnson. It was like like a name or something, right? Or was it? Um, what it was. Mr. Johnson fucked my ass or something. Mm, <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember much from I that movie. What it was, yeah. I, don't remember, I remember Russell Brand jumping off the pool because he was going to kill himself and he then he broke, like, broke his, his leg. Yeah. Oh, it was his, his arm. arm. Yeah. It was like, I just remember the bone going through and he was like, like he was like, we're good, mate. Yeah. We're all good, mate. All good. You look beautiful, <laughs> love. Anything, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a certain yeah. point in time where Russell Brand was like the funniest man alive. Top tier. And yeah. that lasted like it's because, six months well, at the top. Yeah. Well, because you want to know why. It's this thing where like there was always like a funny fat person, a funny British person, like Asian person, funny black so person. Different. And he was the funny British person, and literally the only one at the time. Like name another funny British person that you know of. I can't like, think or, of when any. he was big. Cause what, like 2007 or like 10, maybe like when he was really big, I got to check my files. Something, <laughs> Dude, I can't think of anyone else. Like it was just him. Like yeah. people just fill that role and it's like, all right, you're the one. That, that was the first time. Well, for, for getting Sir Marshall was the first time I ever seen him. Uh, he was, yeah. he's a comedian like before that, but like I'd never seen him. Before. I wonder if got, and then he dated, good... then he dated uh, uh, Katy right. Perry, right? Yeah, he dated uh, who? Katy, Katy Perry. Perry. Yeah, I was just, I was literally just gonna say, yeah, you dated Katy Perry too. Yeah. <laughs> I would, I would kill myself right in this fucking chilies, <laughs> right in this fucking chilies, dude. <laughs> How dare you disrespect the chilies like that? That's not disrespectful. That's saying that chilies is like of the highest order. So if I'm going to end my life, might as well be in a chilies. Chilies is the vibe, dude. But also, if I'm vibing in chilies, like why not just? Get rid of it. <laughs> Toss the whole thing in the garbage. <laughs> so we get to a club scene, and Brie, you made a pretty good point. Um, this movie kind of turned into the Tiki Scooby Doo Island movie at one point. It's mm. it's uh, Scooby Doo Spooky Island. That one, yeah. <laughs> Put some respect on its fucking name, dude. All, that's the one with Mary Jane, right? Yes. That's such a good fucking movie, dude. Matthew movie... Lillard when he got when he sees that girl and he's just she's like, my name is Mary Jane. He's like, dude, I do crack too. <laughs> that was the best part of that movie, dude. The best part of the movie is where they're like frying hot dogs, but the first scene that you get is like smoke coming out of the top of their van, and he's like, oh, like they get they fucking the camera goes into the van and they're all like, oh, oh my god, it's hydroponic, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, Scrappy Doo went off in that oh movie. Oh my god, I love that movie dude remember I when he turns into a so demon much. yes demon scrappy demon scrappy, oh, scrappy he gets demon. buff demon do <laughs> melvin do <laughs> what i did like about this movie is that what was that girl's was her name penelope or something but he kept calling her penelope <laughs> yeah it was penelope, penelope but her name was penelope i love when he, he's like looking at her name tag he's like he grabs her boob penelope he like, holds like, it up and he's like, like holding up the name <laughs> penelope well, I mean, you know, sometimes when you're reading things, you just kind of got to get a better view. And, you know, like he no. didn't have his contacts in is what I was assuming. Yeah. Yeah. Pinalope. 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 I love that guy. Mm. Yeah. He's, re he's really. What was his name? Uh, Juan. Jonah. No, Juan. Gentrification. Juan. He's also this guy, too. He's the Jewish guy in Beer Fist. Oh, my God. That's him. He's really good. Yeah. His name? Oh fuck! What's his name in Beer Fest again? Um, um, Fink or something like that. No, uh, is it Fink? Something, I don't think something no, no, close to no. that. No, it's all I remember from Beer Fest is those two white dudes, and they'd be like, they'd be like, "Oh, you're going down," and then the other guy was like, "Ja, you're going down." Oh yeah, Ja, you're, <laughs> you're going, going down. down. Ja, Ja. <laughs> that shit was so funny, and I can say that because I'm white. It's true. It's true. 
Wait, is that him? Is he Steve Lemmy? Yeah. No, he's, he Steve is? Lemmy, yeah. That is him? Mm-hmm. Oh, he looks different. Wait, that's him? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. This is what he looks like now? That's what he always looks like. Wait. This guy? Yeah. I always thought... Oh, yeah, he, that's him. That's Juan, mm-hmm. all right. I always thought his widow's peak was real. Come to find out. Mm, maybe it's not. You're telling me he doesn't have that hair that he has in Beer Fest? I thought that was his real hair. He doesn't have a widow's peak in, in Beer Fest. Wait, I thought. Wait, which guy did you point at? He's the Jewish guy. The scientist guy? Yeah. This guy right here. Yes, that's not a widow's peak, dude. Oh, that's, well, that's okay, balding. bald. <laughs> okay, I meant to say bald. Bald peak. Yeah. I'm so tired. A peak of baldness. Yes. A little sliver. I'm falling mm. asleep. So some kid dies. I'm not sure who he is, but they start telling camp t- campfire stories, and then mm. they're talking about this deranged dickless dude. Yeah. Which oh, I th- yeah. Machete. Machete uh, Pete or something. Phil. Phil. Pete. Machete Phil. Is it Phil or Pete? Pretty sure it's Phil. This yeah, is Because of- Coconut Pete, Machete Phil. Mm. That's what it is. Okay. I'm glad you yeah. made that correlation. I've seen the movie many times. <laughs> this does a lot for us. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's not a correlation. It's just I think that's where you get in the uh, where I was getting the Pete from. You Still know. a correlation. <laughs> Not... <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Speaking of doing a lot for us, those manginas did a lot for me. Oh yeah, there was two manginas. Dude, I oh, love that's Brandon right. Brandon has yes. a mangina. That's exactly what Brandon I was thinking has of. Has a mangina. So I do like when you know men are manly enough to tuck their penis in between their legs. Have you ever actually done that? All yes. the time. I've, I'm pretty sure it I've done that in front of you. Every man has done fucking... that. Hilarious! I think I've done that in front of I you, haven't I, I? As a joke, it almost looks like you have a vagina. I literally can't explain why it's funny, but yeah. it just is. Like yeah. it's because it's just there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's bare and it's raw, just comedy. It's just fucking if, hilarious, dude. If you do it just right, like where it's like tucked between like your balls, just right, it literally looks like lips. <laughs> Amazing, dude. Because you can get that, you yeah. have that point like right above your dick, where it's yeah. like you can just make that it's little just slit. Like, it's it's almost the same skin. Like you know? I have literally asked Miguel to do it. Yes, just mm. so I can laugh. Like yes. it's just funny. So you can get off to it. <laughs> That's what Brie likes in the bedroom. She's like, please do the mangina please. thing. <laughs> just, he just stands please. there. <laughs> She's like, just stand there. You don't have to do anything. Just just stand there. It's all right. Yeah. I'll be good in a few minutes. So yeah, and then that dickless guy starts running around. He's dressed as a giant pineapple, and I assume he still doesn't have a dick, and then he kills a giant pear. They were doing like a, like a Pac-Man maze run type yes. of thing, right? Yeah, a big old grass like maze. Like where you mm-hmm. run... And there's like a little like goblet of like alcohol and then you can go chase the girls or something like that. Yeah, no, yeah. mazes freak me out. Why were they dressed like fruit again? Was that for the celebration? It was for the Pac-Man. Well, they, they have fruit people in there and you can run and like push them or something like that. Mm. And then like the girls were like the ghosts where they're chasing you and, and then like when you get the, the drink, you chase them or something like that. Okay. Yeah. When do they start glowing? When do they like paint each other? Uh, like I think in they, Always Sunny that's in That's only, a, it's only a, like, a night mazes. Remember that episode in Always Sunny in Philadelphia? That's called Cosmic Maze. Where they yeah. where Charlie gets painted? Much like Cosmic Bowling. Cosmic Bowling. But yeah. with people. Remember when we went to Cosmic Golf and I almost killed like three people? I've I'll, been to Cosmic I'll, Bowling If once. I own a Cosmic Golf oh, place, no. I would not allow you in. Oh, hey, that, like, oh wait, no, I, I didn't go with you. I went with no. someone else. Yeah. yeah, we've never been golfing ever. Well, because it was like, I didn't know it was like indoor golf and I was <laughs> drunk. So I was just like hitting golf balls. And I was like, four! <laughs> so I was just like exactly oh exactly uh, well, here, here's the thing the golf balls were glowing so when you hit them on a wall and they bounced it looked really cool because they bounced in Especially other places wait, they bounced you to, on other people's you, faces and shit like that wait a minute did you go to glow golf yeah I, the the dude, ball. I took yeah. i took my child there yeah but it's kind of weak i'm sorry but yeah. uh it was the worst time ever. Oh, that place so sucked. hard. Yeah, it, was it, well, it is so hard. Brie, Why is golfing so hard? Why do you think I started Stop. just hitting random things in the area? Because I was like, this no, course dude, sucks. After a minute, that's exactly what I started doing. I was just like, you know what? I hit Thank it you. and I was like, I gave it my best shot. You just start swinging and you say four. Even though I didn't. Mm. Yeah, dude, that shit sucks. It's like the worst experience ever. They're like, oh, let's do some glow in the dark golf. Like, it sounds really cool. It's, and then you go, and it's not. It's but it's exactly what it what it sounds like. But then you find out that's not as fun as it sounded. Yeah, like. Yeah, it's not false yeah. advertising at yeah, all. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. But it's, it's exactly just, what it's, it is. It's just you're mini golfing, but there's glow in the dark shit around you. That's it. it, it you walk out of there with a headache straight yeah. up. That's it. It's very dark in there, but just with the glow in the dark is really the only lighting. Kids Remember that zipline episode yeah. of South Park? Blind episode? The zipline? 
Oh, zip line episode? Are it's like okay? that one where they just go on like a z- <laughs> the blind episode. Yeah. Remember where they go? Uh, I mean, that's not too far fetched. <laughs> but like, it's like when they just go on a zip line and then they're like, oh, yeah, you know, this is going to be super fucking fun. And then they get on. They're like, this is the worst thing we've ever done in our lives. It's like they, you know exactly what you're going to go and do. But then you yeah. go and do it. And it's like, oh, it's not as fun as it sounds. Yeah. OK, so that's what's happening. Yeah. So Scooby Doo. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Scooby Doo collabs with SpongeBob Stadium Rave. Yes. And I don't know what song came oh. first, but at one time, if you watch this movie and you're at like this fucking like club scene where it's looking like Scooby Doo, they're playing Stadium Rave. The yep. SpongeBob song that the jellyfish are dancing to. I feel like that's an actual song. It has to be. Before that SpongeBob used. Before SpongeBob. Before SpongeBob yeah. and before this movie. You know what? SpongeBob wrote it. I'm going with that. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with you. That's the uh, reality uh, I want to live in. Throw well, away what? everything yeah. that I just... Oh. Throw away everything that I just said, and uh, SpongeBob himself wrote that song. That was a really early episode of SpongeBob too, like one of the first seasons, maybe it even was. the first season. And SpongeBob has been around since like what ninety two thousand two thousand and one. No, oh, two thousand one. I thought it was ninety something. Ninety seven no. or ninety eight. Yeah, 99. I was gonna say it was I think before two thousand. You might be right on that. You might be right about that. Okay. So probably 90, 20, 90 but, 20 plus years. But if that's the case, uh, I don't even think that was in season five, so it had to have came out on SpongeBob mm. first. So did SpongeBob make it? And was that used in this? Because if so, if SpongeBob made that I, and I'm that was ta- used I'm, in this. I'm telling you, either way, SpongeBob made SpongeBob it. made it. Okay. Well, uh, that's, that's what that's our answer. Caleb, let's move on what? to the next one. I was <laughs> right, 99. Oh, nice. Good shit. That makes Let me sense. just look up Stadium Rave real quick. Yeah, look up Stadium. I feel like that had to have come out like 2001 at the latest. <laughs> look up. It's written by, uh, by Bob Sponge. Mr. <laughs> Bob Sponge himself. <laughs> oh, hold on a minute. What would you find? Okay, so the song in SpongeBob is, which I knew you were saying it wrong. I was like, Stadium Rave does not sound right. It's called Jellyfish Jam (laughs) in SpongeBob. I think it's Stadium Rave on Spotify. No, Stadium Rave is a song by Mark Governor, originally created in 1998, before SpongeBob came out. It was made famous for its use in the SpongeBob SquarePants episode, Jellyfish Jam, in 1999. In the episode, it's called Jellyfish Jam. Hmm. Well, it's on a SpongeBob the, album. You're right. The actual song is Stadium Rave, hmm. but that came out in 98. SpongeBob didn't premiere until 99. Hmm. They took the song from uh, Mark Governor. Governor Sid. or Govna? Governor. Mark Govna. Govna. I just want to say, I'm, Mark I, I'm not acknowledging any of this. SpongeBob made it. <laughs> SpongeBob made it. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> to because be without SpongeBob, that yes. song wouldn't be shit. It's, that song would be dead. It really would have been dead be, to like, me. But, but now it is a banger, and I will play it all the time. Oh, yeah. So what that shit what, gets my child hyped all the fucking time. Oh, yeah. So what about that killer trying to confront Maverick from Wild Hogs, and then uh, him going, there's always one guy that tries <laughs> shit to, apple pie. to shit in the apple pie. Well, too bad. You shat in the one apple pie that knows how to shit back. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been the most badass line I've ever heard. That might have right been, before he dies. That, mo- <laughs> that might have been the most Leahy line I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> In somebody that is not Jim Lee. The dude. shit wins or shit yeah. in the apple pie, but you just Fucking shit in the R. wrong R. wind. Fucking R.I.P., dude. Fucking R.I.P., R. R. dude. I think R.I.P. to that guy in the movie, too. I think he passed away. Oh, did he? I think he did. Oh, man. That's dude. Good. But Wild Hogs. It's going to have to go on without him. Everything goes back to Wild Hogs. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure he passed away. And then this chick tries to escape on a golf cart, of all things. And the killer just, like, walks up next to her. Dude, yeah. when she, like, hopped in the golf cart, I was like, girl, that shit goes 10 miles yeah. per hour. And the she's fact- already running and faster And then the, the fucking killer just walks up beside her and fucking kills her. I'm mm. like, yep. And the fact that she, she was just struggling ran. to turn it yeah. on and she still kept trying to turn it you on. She should have just ran. Yeah. She's like fucking stomping on the gas. And I'm like, that's not going to do anything. That, that, that's just there for decoration at that point. Yeah. Even if that thing was fully charged still. Oh, what's cool too is that like usually when you're trying to figure out who the dickless killer is, you just hide in the closet while a foreign dude is plowing the local white girl that does backflips. And that's something yep. that happens in this. Yeah. yeah. I do like that, you know, she puts on a show right before. She does. With yeah. front flips, actually. Front yeah. flips. Very impressive. I think that more people should do flips before coitus. I, w- I wouldn't, I would not mind it. I cannot do the same. We can learn. I'm going to give a, it a go. Doing oh, a flip, I'll give it a go. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Like, am I like doing a flip naked? Because that, that just sounds like, that sounds, sounds even more dangerous for some reason. Like She might have been topless. You can do it topless. Okay. I'll try it. Landfill makes a shrine. He does. The killer gets revealed part of the way through, and you think it's Putnam. 
Putnam? Putnam. Oh, Putman. Putnam? Putman. It's N A M though. Put- no, Putman. No, it's, it's Putman. Is it Putman? Putman. It's Putman, and you're just like, racist. Yeah. I thought they were saying Putnam. No. Putman. No, you're just racist. That's, that's, just that's not even a name either you, way. You, How you, is that you, racist? I'm calling it. <laughs> you, you, I'm making Your racist, racist tendencies are flaring up again, Caleb. You're calling my made up name <laughs> racist? Your yes. racism is showing. Yeah, I will change my name yeah. to Putnam. You dropped your racism down there, okay? Pick it up for me. Uh, no, I don't want to touch it. Right? You already it, got it, bud. Get it yeah. out of my yeah. subleased house. It's staining my carpet. It's ridiculous that the yeah. guy that like thinks that Pipple owns Taco Bell is That's, saying this. That was literally never anything I said. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many times that I'm just talking to this guy, and he's like, I'm telling you, dude, Pitbull is the CEO of Taco Bell. That has never happened. That's what you said. It's on It's Mr. on paper. 305? You signed a contract. No. Worldwide? Uh, Mr. Worldwide. What I, what yeah, I worldwide said, Taco Bell. What I said is like, I, I thought that. I think Taco Bell is worldwide. Taco Bell worldwide by Pitbull. (laughs) I I thought that I uh, saw Pitbull. uh, I thought he did a Taco Bell commercial, (laughs) right? Because he's like in everything. Like he does like Sprite. So racist. No, he's not. Not anymore. He's dead now. (laughs) No, but that's uh, Pitbull? Pitbull hasn't. Oh, oh, dead, oh, he's not really dead. That's what you mean. Oh. He's dead now. No, but I'm talking about I'm talking <laughs> about like died. in the past, like not 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 now or whatever. But like like, uh, but that's all I said. But he turned into I said he owns every Taco Bell. <laughs> he, like he invented Taco Bell. Like all these other. <laughs> it's shit. not my like, fault. That's what you said. That's not what I said. You said that Pitbull founded Taco Bell. That he I built mistakenly it. You thought said that, that he did a commercial. Sean for Taco said Bell. that Pitbull built the first ever Taco Bell from the ground up with his hands. I actually just, want to know who built the first Taco Bell. It was yeah. Pitbull, just like the Egyptian pyramids. <laughs> yeah. He is literally Mr. Ro- he built the pyramids and mm-hmm. he built Taco Bell. He's Mr. You can't worldwide. tell me otherwise. Egyptian Taco Bell worldwide. Yeah. You cannot tell me otherwise. <laughs> anyway, that's my mom for you. Any of you guys have a mother? I do. I do. <laughs> you guys catch that quote in the movie? Yes, I did. Yeah. Like when they're just casually like in the fucking what was it the the hot uh, the steam room. The steam room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, he says something. Oh, no, 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 no. They're in no, the pool. He, oh, the pool. Yeah, the steamy pool. pool. He says something absolutely ridiculous. And I thought to myself when he said that, I was like, I need to remember that. And I can't remember it right now. Wait, so, so, so anything, that, something, that's my mom or something like that. No, or, but before that, he's like, so I start like taking down her shirt or something like that. It yeah, was something sexual or something weird. And he was like, Haha. so anyways, that's my mom for you. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said something like outlandish as fuck before he said that, and yeah. it's gonna piss me off. I can't think of it. If you want to talk about outlandish? Can we talk about something that we actually talk about pretty often? Hmm. Maybe not on this show, but me and you talk about it pretty often. Hmm. That's a uh, goat fellatio. Oh yes. Yeah, it's it's heavy in this movie. Yes. I guess I guess it's we don't know. Part. We don't know if there was fellatio involved. But there was goat fucking involved. It, it sounds like yeah. It may as well. Okay. It I may as well been Felicio. You went to jail for fucking a goat, dude. Um, yeah. Federal. As you fucking should. Is it legal in some places? Legal? Where do you think? Uh, where did he say he was when he got arrested for? I have no idea. He sounded idea. like like he's talking about back home. So I'm assuming some South American country. Right. Britain. It's not. It's literally. He was British. He. What? He was from. Uh, We're talking about Juan. He was Alaska? from French Canada. Alaska. Huh? You got that right. Exactly. <laughs> Alaskan bullworm? <laughs> Miguel. Oh, goes back. Miguel's an Alaskan whenever, bullworm? <laughs> whenever somebody doesn't have a chin. <laughs> Alaskan bullworm? He calls them Dude. Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> Has he ever hit you with that? It was like, wow, man. I have a chin. <laughs> I wish you said that. I oh, <laughs> the hand went at me like that. <laughs> oh, oh shit! You gotta get that sound bite. <laughs> why I have is a chin. He... <laughs> oh my god! Why is he so funny, dude? Just uh... where does he come up with this shit? I do have a question though. If you have sex with a goat with a condom, is it better? Better. We discussed this during the movie. Better, but not still. And not I, good. I want you to stop right now. Yes. But for the audience, and it was a discussion in the movie. He I'm, seemed I'm to gonna think. I'm going to leave right now. If seemed, you say if you say something about goat sex one more time, I'm going to leave this room. He seemed to think that it was okay to have sex with a goat if there was a condom. I don't think he thought it was okay. I think he was just that was like it's less gross if he was wearing a condom. I think that's what he was trying to push. Like because there's no like, like you're not yeah skin to skin. Yeah, I think that's what he's going for. Is that what like the thing is? That's if, if if I'm if I'm putting myself in his shoes. That's yeah, that's that's what I think he would be going for. Okay, it's like he's trying to make it look the best it possibly. I'm can. actually gonna leave. Yeah. <laughs> 
And there was this good kill where um, Brandy from Joe Dirt walks into a room. And it's actually a really good kill because there's this dude's head on uh, a record player. The music's still playing. Spinning, bloody head. Uh, hey, man. It's pretty good stuff. You seen a bloody head before? I have. Seen one that spins? I have indeed. Now Putin, Putman? <laughs> Putman. Putman. Putman gets caught stealing panties from Brandy, so he gets his ankle handcuffed to the bed, and he calls her a, <laughs> calls her a Piccadilly whore. You Piccadilly whore. <laughs> and mm. Then he tries to hit the killer with tennis balls, and this is when I found out that he plays yes. tennis. Yes, qu- quite late into the movie. That yeah, was a good defense mechanism. Yeah. And then Landfill <laughs> and Brandy get back to the club party, and there's dead bodies staged everywhere, which also pretty solid. There's some good kills and stages in here. Mm. And then we do meet the killer. It's Machete Sam. He was just like a cop, like briefly, right? Or like a trooper of sorts. In the movie? Yeah. Well, he was in Super Troopers. No, but I mean in this movie. Oh, no. He was like the fun police. Fun that, that's police. That's like his job. He goes around just like make sure everybody's having fun. Make sure everyone is having yeah. a good dandy he, time. Like, has like a super soaker full of like like tequila and shit like that. I'm really sad though because he was telling the story of like why I was killing everyone. He was like, ah, first off, I do have mm. a dick. And second off, if my friend, well, my friend said he didn't have any weed. But then I looked at him and he did have weed. And yeah. I was really mad about that's, that. That's, that was uncool. I was really hoping that was where it just That was ended. just all, the whole reason. Yeah, yeah. That would have been pretty good. Yeah. And it was still good that he said that, but then he was like, oh, wait, no, actually. Uh, oh, that wasn't tr- it. Very good. Yeah, he was like, they tried to steal this place from me and I want to own it. Yeah. And that was fine, too. But I wish they went with the first one. Yeah. And then in the end, uh, Landfill seems to kill the killer. And then we see a naked dude on a swing. We do couple uh, times. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, there's no dicks in here, but there are a lot of bushes. Mm-hmm. And then we find out that when you jump off of high mountains, water can penetrate your butthole. Yeah, it will just paralyze shoot right your up. intestines. Yes. You don't want that. You ever know that before? I learned that from that movie. What are you going to do with I've that information? I've known since 2004. Um, I'm going to, if I ever have to dive off a cliff like that, I'm clenching my assholes and closing my legs. And, and after they clench, Juan dies. Not from that, though. He gets from uh, different clenches. He gets slashed. He clenches himself. Yes. His life. Mm-hmm. And he has one final request that Penelope and Brandy kiss a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Are you guys already done with the movie? Yeah. So the killer gets knocked down at some point, but of course he comes back again. And they tie him to the back of the bow and they kind of just like rip him in half with rope. They, yeah, basically like wrap the rope around the, the dock and him and then they just like, yeah. Tear his body in half. Mm hmm. Because he does get stabbed a few times, he comes back, and then he comes back one more time he's even after limitless. that. Yeah. I called it. I was like, In half. he's going to, Jason mm. Voorhees this shit. Come yeah. right and out the lake. Did. And then, then at the very end, when they're like driving off, you see his legs, his legs kicking, swimming after him. The end. Mm-hmm. And then Landfall and Brandy make uh, each other come through pressure points. Yes. All right, I'm going to leave now, guys. So we have 13 kills. We had about at least six boobs in there. I think that's a fairly accurate count. Six sets of boobs. I'd say six or eight. Yeah, maybe yeah between more, six yeah. and eight. And uh, we're going to do a fuck, Mary kill real quick. So you have Putt Man, Dickless Man. We're assuming he has no dick. The killer, okay. right? And me. Why Why are you always included in okay. it? Okay. I'm marrying Putman because he's probably got all that tennis money. And then I'm fucking the guy with no dick so I don't get a dick in my ass. Tennis money? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna fuck Putman, marry you, and then kill the dickless guy. You gonna kill the dickless man? Yeah. He already has no dick. He's Carlos Mencia, dude. Yeah, he's a piece got of no shit. Dick, <laughs> I got no dick, got man. No I dick, pee man. in a bag, man. I got no dick, got man. No dick. I'm not even funny, man. I'm I'd rather funny, I'd man. rather I'd, I'd rather bag, get rid of him because he was pretty annoying the whole fucking movie too. Mm. I feel like he wasn't even in and, the And and us just being married doesn't mean anything at all. We it's could have just, a civil union. Yeah, exactly. You know. Exactly. We've talked about this before. We've discussed we, we, this. We've discussed yeah. this before. We've discussed this. With another person. Yeah. Civilly. Maybe a thruple. A Civilly. Civil thruple. Civil thruple. Yeah. Yes. And that's what we're going to end this episode. I'm not going to plug anything. Guys, say bye. 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 Rubs up, baby, rubs up. Give me harasu. Give me, give me harasu. Give it, give it harasu. Harasu. You like some bread? I'll do you a slice with a pinch of salt. It'll taste really nice. You've done really well, cause this stuff tastes just like hell. Swallow it down, it'll fill up a hole. Stick out your tongue and look out your bowl. We're having a bite with creatures of the night. Rubs up, baby, 
rub up Give me heart soup, give me, give me heart soup, give it, give it. Rub up, baby, rub up. Give me heart soup, give me, give me heart soup, give it, give it. Heart soup, heart soup, heart soup will keep you well fed. Its gorgeous smell could wake the dead. Vegetable is just forgettable. If your energy's low, you know what to do. Simply gobble on down some of the spooky stew. The wine and dine a hungry Frankenstein. Grubs up, baby, grubs up. Give me heart soup, give me, give me heart soup. Give it, give it. Grubs up, baby, grubs up. Give me heart soup, give me, give me heart soup. Give it, give it. Heart soup, heart soup. Your sweetie taught your private chef I'll be your just dessert You can even drink it from a cup I'll do the washing up I'll do the washing up I'm getting full I'm getting full. My belly's gonna burst My belly's gonna burst Oh, can you see my psychic energy? Grubs up, baby, grubs up Give me horror soup Give me, give me horror soup Give it, give it, grubs up, baby, grubs up. Give me horror soup, give me, give me horror soup. Give it, give it, horror soup, horror soup. He can't even look after himself.